I'm Matt Beecher and I'm at the La Quinta Resort and Club in Palm Springs for REITWISE 2017, NARIED's Law, Accounting and Finance Conference. Joining me today is Frank Saracino, Managing Director and Chief Financial Officer, Retail Companies with Colony Northstar. Frank, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. Now here at REITWISE, you participated on a panel that looked at public non-listed REITs. Can you start by talking about the new fee models and other changes that you've seen in the space? Sure. I think. Uh you know, going back to last year, you know, with some of the new DLL rules and some of the new um, uh, 1502 rules that come in, there's been a, a change in focus and a change in focus on uh, commissions and, and upfront fees. And I think over the course of the last year with Blackstone ent entering the space, now the focus has turned to advisor, you know, advisory asset management fees. So, you know, I think what, we, what we've seen over the last year is really fee compression. You know, comp fee compression, you know, on the outset for what broker dealers are getting paid and fee compression when it comes to the sponsors as to what they're able to earn. I mean, in the originally we were seeing fees as high as 2% of um, total assets and now they're down to 1% of average invested assets or equity. So we've seen you know, a, a high change in those level of fees. You know, I think also we've started to see more transparency uh, through all the newer funds that are out there having daily NAVs or monthly NAVs, quarterly NAVs. So you know, investors are able to see more transparency or more transparency on you know, what their actual investment is worth. Um, we're starting to see um, more interest in the interval funds and that's offering liquidity to investors. So uh, there's been a big change um, over the last year. And what do you see as the future of the DOL fiduciary rule under the Trump administration? What we're seeing is that Broker dealers have largely digested the rules, and you know, just it, it's been in the papers over the last month between uh, J.P. Morgan or Morgan Stanley, uh, Wells Fargo. You know, they have integrated all or most of what the DOL wanted to do. I mean, recently we saw J.P. Morgan come out and say that they're going to move. Uh, uh, lower lower investment IRAs to self-directed funds, and we don't necessarily think that that's good for the good for the investors. So you know, could they pull that back if the um, if the rules don't go completely into effect? I, I think they can. I think they can, and they might. But um, you know, what we're seeing is that um, they've largely uh, you know adopted these these new changes. But uh, a repeal, you know, I think. Uh, Everyone would take another look at it. I don't. I don't see why they wanted. Um, you know, given everything that we've talked about, what are you seeing in terms of overall investor interest in the public non-listed REIT space in the current market compared to recent years? I think for the investor overall, these changes that we talked about, these changes in fees, uh, transparency, liquidity, th this is good for the investor, right? And investors generally tend to like real estate. They like uh, REITs. They like the dividends that come with investing in REITs. So. I think this is going to drive people back because it's going to cause the sponsors now to compete on merit and not compete on who has the lower fees. So, you know, whether it's the Blackstones, whether it's the Colony North Stars, um, you know, now it's up to us to originate and execute, you know, solid investments uh, that bring the return to these vehicles, uh, offer you know, diversity of products, whether it be through an interval fund, closed-end funds, or non-traded REITs, you know, with, with daily NAVs and all the transparency. So we think that, you know, we're, we, re, we remain optimistic about the space and we're excited about it because we think that these changes will help drive investors back to the space and, and force the sponsors to, uh, to, to step up and continue to deliver. And, and for us, that's, that's a good place to be. Frank, thank you so much for joining us. For more from REITWISE 2017, be sure to visit nareitsreit.com. Thank you.